I'm Erica Buenteo and I organized this handmade market, our first ever event, and it's called Echo a Mano. We have about 15 artists who are coming to set up their handmade wares to sell. We're working together with Gail Aker Rodriguez. She's the owner of Gallery 201 and she's lent us a space for the evening. We have a bunch of people selling handmade jewelry, accessories, artwork, prints, food, all sorts of things that I chose from our community. In December, Gail offered me an opportunity to have a solo exhibit. I started a project that I painted every single day. And then as the year progressed, I kind of started doing like larger paintings, so they would take me a little bit longer. For the most part, I produced about 270 paintings, drawings, watercolors, oil paintings mostly, and she asked me to display my work. So I brought about 45 paintings to this exhibit, and that's what's on display right now. One of the pieces that I really, really loved um, came at the very end of the year. A lot of them came at the end of the year. But it, it was after learning so much about the medium and learning so much about the process of painting, really solidifying my knowledge in, in oil painting again. And um, it's the painting called Ritual. And this one is one of my favorites because I hated portrait painting as, as a college student. And doing this again has helped me to really kind of reinvigorate my interest in the human form. Something that might motivate other artists to create things or you know, take their art making to another level might be the advice that I give everybody. It's just, you know, make stuff. This was my year that I made the most stuff um, and I feel like it has helped me learn so much and I, it's opened up new opportunities for me. So as a teacher, I give that advice to my students all the time, like make stuff. Don't go home and watch TV because class time is the only time you should be making stuff. You should be making stuff all the time. 